We're here with Marlon from LG Australia at the AMD Polaris launch and we've got something unique I think he's going to show us. Basically what we, he's going to show us today is we have a AMD Radeon PC with 480 in it and we have a 2016 LG OLED display that is HDR. So how many bits are in this display and what's the basic specs? Uh, this is a 2016 model G6. It's um, the only it's HDR10, got Dolby Vision certified as well, so for that needs to be a certain level of brightness. Um, ultra thin, if you want to look at that, like it really matters or, yeah. So how many, sorry, how many bits are we talking here for HDR? HDR10. 10? 10, yeah. Okay. So basically what Martin has set up for us today is basically we're going to show you guys that at the moment with Radeon and this display that we can actually do a real, a real HDR video playback and it's not a loop or something and Martin is just going to show us, the, show us how that's going to uh, come about. So what have we got here? So we're using this AMF player they've set up for us. Um, is there any, from your point of view, is there any particular reason why we're using a custom player? We're not just playing it back directly from Windows? Because Windows has the HDR support already. Oh, we can play it from Windows. It's, this, is, this is just for demo purposes, isn't yeah, it? This is, what they've, this is what AMD set up. So okay. Uh, well, what is this footage? Is this uh, H, HEVC footage and HDR? HDR. Yeah. So if this TV, if somebody buys this TV, uh, how can the user uh, uh, take advantage of the HDR support? Oh, well, we've got, um, in, we're releasing a 4K Blu-ray player, which is going to be Dolby Vision certified, so that's coming out. Um, you just need to buy 4K, 4K Ultra Blu-ray discs that are HDR. They've already, there's already a few on the market. Um, yep. Star Wars, the new one, that's 4K HDR. Okay, so in terms of... PC support, so somebody say flicks through the manual or something, how are you guys supporting PC connectivity with this screen? PC connectivity? Yes, yeah, so look, here we have a, we have a Radon 480. Yeah. How is LG taking the PC compatibility? It's just ba basic support? Just, just ge generic support, like it's just HDMI cable and TV. Okay. Um, this is an OLED screen, so it's completely different to your LED type of screens. Have you added them before? Yes. So, it, HDR looks obviously a lot better on this. So, from your, at least speaking from your company's point of view, we only see the HDR on the OLED. What, I beg your pardon? HDR is only available for, on OLED panel. No, it's on all of our panels. Uh, all, all 2016 model panels. This all, sorry, all 2016. So, even somebody buys the 32 inch. Um, no, all 2016. 4K, you mean? Yeah, premium, premium stuff. Yeah, all 2016. Premium. But, like, our entry, you can get a 4K HDR TV for, like, $11.95. So, yeah, well, just to go back to the busy connectivity side of things, I think what I meant is, so the connectivity, obviously, we need um, HDMI, you know, 2.0B, we need the HDCP 2.2, I mean... Uh, uh, to get the best experience, you need, like, the HDMI 2.0 cable, um, and, yeah, you need to have good content coming through it. So we're going to show as good as it gets, yeah. And um, can this screen play natively the content? I beg your pardon? Can the screen natively play the content via the network or USB? Natively? Yes, so say so I put a USB stick in or yeah, stream, can, yeah, stream got, by DLNA. Um, I'm DL, you can screen mirror, but not, not in... Um, so not screen, stream? Stream. Um, wirelessly, I couldn't confirm that, but I definitely know you can play it off um, like USBs. That's what we've set up in all the shops. You can get the USBs on them. Um, and yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so we have the skin here, so basically just to wrap up what we're doing here, all we've done here is we've connected the radio on PC to the LG TV using stand, you know, standard H HDMI, yeah. we haven't changed any scenes, do we have to change any scenes no, in the TV? Like, see, what, like when I actually turn on the thing, it actually automatically can detect that it's HDR content. Um, so we just select the input. Yeah, basically. That's essential. And we have to have obviously we have to have the the content, mm. HDR content, so a video or a game, and yeah. we have to have a software. So basically, yeah. it's, basically we've got to the stage where it's pretty much plug and play now. Yeah, essentially. So I'll, like I'll show you. Okay. How many frames a second is the sample? 
I'm not too sick with that. HDR okay, content. HDR content and started playing. So, so we have another. It automatically just takes it. Um, it out. Okay, yeah, that, I think that's 60, it looks like. It's a bit. You can tell the frames for a second yeah. by looking at it. Yeah, it's 60. I think, that's uh, very impressive. I wish I had those. Well, it's a bit, well, it's a bit more. Um, the, the industry term, I think, is um, liquid soap or something. Liquid soap? Yeah. 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 Oh, wait, wait. okay. So, how can people get this? These sort of demos are not for Dalla, these are sales for yeah. sales. So, at the moment, we have to have a game or a software, and we have to buy 4K yeah, Blu ray discs. Uh, you can get uh, YouTube now, you can stream 4K content. I'm not sure if it's an HDR. Yeah, it's a, yeah, well, 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 um, yeah. Netflix that's a, is 4K HDR, Amazon's is 4K HDR. Yeah, but you said, you said HDR. What's it? You said, those are in HDR, I know they're in 4K. Yeah. Uh, our readers yeah, would know yeah, they're 4K, but the HDR, HDR now, you said. Yeah, some of, the, um, some of the originals are. Like, I know, I know the new. The new Daredevil season, that's, okay. that's I don't know, like season two is for a so just to cap up, well, well, this 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 display we are looking here. What's the size and how this much is, is it? Sixty-five inch. Sixty-five. Retails at ten thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Uh, ten thousand. Ten thousand. Okay. Just uh, well, well, what are we looking at for a starter set with the same feature set? Starter starter TV with the same feature set. Oh, for the entry level OLED, you can get one for two thousand five hundred dollars. Don't have the same connectivity. No, it's only full HD. Full HD. It's full HD. Okay, so full HD. HD, HDR. No, just full HD. It's full HD. Full HD OLED is 2000. Okay, sorry, I meant with HDR. Oh, with said, HDR, yeah. the cheapest one you can get now is 4493. Four, OLED. OLED. And how big would that be? Uh, 55. 55. Okay, so not much smaller than this. Yeah. So we'll get, we'll get the pretty much the similar experience of yeah, after price. Yeah, sim yeah, yeah sim similar, but um, that's a, yeah, that, that picture probably, this is Dolby Vision certified, so it's got, Okay, Dolby Vision. Yeah, okay. so it's got, um, the, it's a little bit brighter than that one, but it's still OLED, the one that I was telling you. So that, um, each individual pixel is controlled on its own, and yep. that's why you can get all these dark spots here. I'm just impressed to, to see it work that easily, so I think we'll have a look at this some more. Look so. at this video, it's unreal. Yep. Thank you very much. Much, man. That's all you